All right, well, obviously I wasn't able to do them in the front. That was my dumb idea. So I put them in the back like everyone else. Gonna have to use a drill bit that's very small. I got them in there very tight. Don't know if it'll work, if it'll hit the tire or not. We'll see reactions. I don't think it'll be an issue. But I want to test these on here before I mess up some voodoos. So what I do to get my reactions ready, I told you guys I'd make a video. I'll do it here. What you do is you cut those all out as flush as you can. Turn them inside out is what I do. And I use scissors. But before I do that, I take two sets and I put them in a dryer with some either shop towels, some dirty rags from your shop, and a flip-flop or two. And I just put them in for the dryer cycle. Between the heat and the flip-flop beating the hell out of this belt, I mean, that's the problem with these, it's the belt. Rubber's the rubber. Every time you get it hot, it's just gonna get heat cycled, and it's just gonna get harder and harder. Which is no big deal, because it's, it's a pretty good tire. Can't wait to compare it to the red and the gold voodoo's. So once you get this belt soft, that's when this tire really starts to work. Other than that, I do a surfacing on it, but it's nothing like really rough or nothing. And I'll do that when I get these tires finished. Let me glue these up and mount them. You guys know how to do that. And uh, if they hold air, I'll show you the rest of the process. All right, guys. All right. Got the tires all glued up. As you can see, just because the valve is there doesn't mean it's the lightest part of the tire. Balanced it, sealed all the holes. So, let's see. Put 60 in them. told to use a little bit of oil, Vaseline, I don't have any here, so I'm using some oil. Just turn it a little bit, boom. Sixty. go bass balls they held air overnight so they're good now I'll show you the last part that I do take a drill put this on a chuck a lot of people use more aggressive sandpaper I only use 180 tighten her up put it back on the chuck so what I do is I put the 180 on it with uh, some wood glue any kind of adhesive and I put it on a cardboard. I'm gonna try and show you here what I do. Not gonna be able to speak, so I'm mainly concentrating on the center. No pressure behind the cardboard. Let it bounce and do what it needs to do. I do high speed because it's gonna rip off the rubber less abrasively. You just want to keep going just to knock that shine off in the center. That's pretty much it, people. They're ready. Look at that patch. 
When it cools down, you clean off these little rubbers right here, and that's it. That's what I do to make my car ready. Other than that, I'll take a dauber, put it on the car, I'll take my WD-40 and just let it set there all week or however long it is. Then I'll wipe it off with a blue towel before I put on my prep. And by the second hit, these bad boys are ready. So hopefully that helps everybody. You just want to get the sheen off the tire. You don't want to reshape the tire or none of that. It'll do that on its own every time you use it. You just want to get that seam off. All right, check these out. Voodoo's out, as you can see. These have to be on air. I mean, foams would be all right, but these, there's nothing to them. I believe that's the secret. That's why I need to beat the belt side of the reactions, because there's there's nothing in here. I mean, that's their belt. But I'm, they're awesome. I'm sure everyone's using them. So that's how I do my tires. I hope everyone uh, gets it. You don't really want to be too abrasive. You just want to take that center edge off. All right, guys. Hope that helps somebody out there. Again, there's many ways to do this. This is just what works for me. Y'all have a great day.